Let's do it. first tour of England with Chuck Berry and at uh, the latter part of the tour the promoter came up to him and said Carl you need to stay uh, an extra few days if you would and he said man I won't go home I've been over here for three weeks and I'm not ready to go home he said I think you might want to do this so Chuck Berry didn't show up he wouldn't go and daddy said the car came to the hotel to pick him up he said I didn't have any idea where I was going he, he said we pulled up to this big big nice house he said it looked more like a castle than a house. And he said, um, you know, I knocked on the door and said I was told to bring my guitar and said I stood there at the front door and I was thinking, how am I going to get in this house? <laughs> and said, you know, the front door was open. And uh, he said, he uh, said I'm Carl Perkins. I, I think I'm supposed to be here tonight. And uh, the butler ushered him in and he said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our honored guest, Carl Perkins, and the party was given for him. And he said, here they came, each beetle from each direction. And he said, we stayed up for 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning just sitting on the floor. And all they, want, they want to hear the story about all those old Sun records and things like that. So, you know, it was kind of ironic. 64, he started coming back. Uh, because of the Beatles' love for him. And, you know, it, was re it had come full circle. He had inspired them, and in their own way, they inspired him back in 64. 